in three, two, one, go! In the autonomous period, some misfires by the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance already scoring one up. Blue Alliance got two up high. 11-101 scoring two more bark bots out of Cupertino. They're scoring for, alongside their partner. And at the end of the autonomous period, looking at the rollers now, Red and Blue Alliance has a lot up high. Blue Alliance is gonna take the autonomous win. Drivers ready. Three, two, one, go. The two teams out of Guangzhou working on the Red Alliance were fierce competitors in the research division all week long. Now they go working together, picking up from the field underneath the Red Alliance goal. Meanwhile, the Blue Alliance having the lead, already looking to increase on it. BarkBot's working that back end of the field while Captain is playing nuisance spot down low against the two Red Alliance robots. 76-86 getting in the way of Basis A. Basis A having to back off, looking for a different angle. Meanwhile, the BarkBots again going for a shot, being pushed out of the way by the Guangzhou team. Having to go catch their rebounds, line up again. Oh, two of them going wide. We're down to one minute left. Red Alliance trying to catch up, but in our real time score, the Blue Alliance still dominating this match. Looking at the rotors, let's see if they come into play. It's GCGX working on the rollers now for Red. Three in favor of Red, one in favor of Blue, and 40 seconds remaining on the clock. BarkBot's going up once again to try to overload that Blue Alliance goal. Red Alliance being effectively starved by Captain. Captain coming to us from Harrisburg, South Dakota, playing incredible defense here, keeping that Red Alliance at bay. Two goals going up, courtesy of the Red Alliance as we come to 20 seconds now. Team starting to pair off. You see defensive plays coming into action now. GCGS having to face off against the BarkBots. Meanwhile, Captain facing off against Basis. Nine seconds now on the clock. Here comes that first end game mechanism. There goes one on the Red Alliance side, looking for the last one to come into play just as the buzzer rings. Wow. Blue Alliance dominated early on, but the Red Alliance came back fighting, and we'll see if that was enough to turn the tides. Grant, I'm gonna throw things back to you. Thanks so much, George. I'm down here with another incredible competitor here. This is Duncan. Everybody say hi, Duncan. <laughs> Duncan, say hi, crowd. Uh, hi, crowd. <laughs> <laughs> so, Duncan, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana. Ooh, we've got a couple others out there. Duncan, how long have you been doing VEX? Uh, I've been doing VEX for seven years, three, three years VRC, and a couple seven years. Seven years. Seven years. So what was your primary role on your team? Uh, so this year I was programmer and skills driver. Programmer and skills driver. Did you program for prog skills also? Uh, I, I programmed all the match autons. All of it. Yeah. So, so what, uh, were, were there any challenges you ran into during programming that you weren't expecting? Uh, the rollers on the skills fields were a little bit tighter than we were expecting. So. Oh, really? <laughs> But you overcame it, didn't you? Uh, yeah, we, we had a passive roller mech, so we were able to just like there you smash go. the rollers and it was fine. Perfect. Did you have any like unexpected, like, I'll ask the opposite question. Any successes, any like big wins that you uh, really defined your season? Uh, yeah, I would, I would say so. We, we were scoring really high on the skills before we came and we actually put up a pretty good skill score here. All right. Uh, which, which is pretty cool and we've come so far in programming and also just the amount of teams that knew us this year, that was, that was insane. Yeah, I can tell you got some fans out there for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Duncan.